Hello, and thank you for joining us today as we spend some time going through our new AP Literature textbook, Literature and Composition, Second Edition. Literature and Composition, the revolutionary unanthology, is back. Literature and Composition is organized thematically to put meaning first. Like the first edition, it's divided into two parts. The text starts with instructional chapters to teach students the skills they need for success in AP Literature. The second part of the textbook are thematic chapters that let students explore literature while honing their reading, writing, and analysis skills. Before we take a look at the program itself, let's take a look at the minds and experience behind the textbook, our authors. Carol Jago has taught English in various grade levels for 32 years. She directs the California Reading and Literature Project at UCLA and is the president of NCTE as well as a College Board English Academic Advisory Committee member. Renee Shea is a professor of English and Modern Languages at Bowie State University and co-author of The Language of Composition, Reading, Writing, Rhetoric, and Amy Tan in the Classroom. She has served as a reader, table leader, and question leader for both AP Literature and Language Readings. She most recently served as the College Board Advisor for AP Language. Lawrence Scanlon is retired from Brewster High School, where he taught AP English Language and Literature. He is currently teaching freshman composition at Iona College in New Rochelle, New York. He has been a reader and table leader for the AP Language exam for the last 10 years, as well as serving on the Test Development Committee. Robin Offsis is the English Department Chair at the Lycée Francais de New York. She is a co-author of the Language of Composition, Reading, Writing, Rhetoric, as well as literature and composition. Offsys has also published articles for the College Board on the novelist Chang Ray Lee and the novel All the King's Men, and is a guest blogger at gothamschools.org and highschoolbits.com. Before we take a look at some of the specific features of literature and composition, let's take a quick look at what's new in this edition. First and foremost, we've added a new chapter on close reading, focusing around poetry. We'll take a further look at that later. We've also made some updates to the thematic literature chapters, including text and context, as well as classic and contemporary fiction and poetry pieces. We also now offer a complete support package for teachers, including a wraparound annotated teacher's edition, flash drive, and test bank. These opening chapters scaffold key skills for AP success, reading closely, thinking critically, and writing persuasive literary analyses. Each chapter uses a brief and accessible text to introduce key concepts, then provides multiple opportunities for students to practice those skills. Using readings that range from approachable to highly challenging works of recognized literary merit, along with rigorous guided literary analysis tasks, these chapters allow students to hone and master the skills built in the opening chapters. In this chapter, we explore the purpose of literary analysis, introducing close reading tools like annotation, reading journals, and think aloud dialogues. These approaches and habits of mind lead to both insightful analysis and thoughtful conversation between and among the reader, the work, and its author. This chapter teaches students to analyze the major elements of fiction and drama, focusing on important literary elements such as character, setting, and theme, and includes instructions for writing the type of thoughtful, interpretive, complex literary analysis required by the open question on the AP Literature exam. In this chapter, we include instruction on close analysis, revealing how the elements of style create meaning in fiction. Students are also included to the process of writing a close analysis essay on a passage of prose, the type of essay required by the free response question two on the AP Literature exam. This brand new chapter provides step-by-step -step support in the type of literary analysis that is often the hardest for students to master, introducing students to close reading strategies that connect the elements of style to meaning in poetry, and offering instruction on writing a close analysis of both a single poem and compare and contrast of two poems. It's proven yearly that some students score poorly because they discuss stylistic and literary elements without connecting their analysis to the complexity of the work. The themes in this book, home and family, identity and culture, love and relationships, conformity and rebellion, tradition and progress, and war and peace signal that ideas are central and that meaning is ultimately what literature is about. 
Thematic arrangement provides students the opportunity to consider big questions, social, political, economic, aesthetic, and literary, through the eyes of classic and contemporary authors. First, the central text opens the chapter with a rich work full of exceptional literary merit, acting as a central idea for the entire chapter. Next, the classic text is a full-length work exposing students to the challenging diction and syntax often found on the AP Literature exam. The new text in context section explores intriguing interpretations and insights into important works, such as Frankenstein and Ethics, or Othello and Critical Lenses. Combined, each of these texts feature a universal theme designed to focus students' interpretation of the literature in the chapter. Continuing with the idea of a universal theme within each thematic chapter, additional readings are offered to help students further build on close reading, analysis, and synthesis. These readings include a collection of fiction and poetry, from literary classics to fresh new finds, two to three sets of paired poems to compare and contrast, a key AP literature exam skill, and close reading sections focusing on building stylistic analysis skills. Two or more pairs of poems in each thematic chapter provide practice in comparison and contrast, an essential AP literature skill. These pairings encourage students to explore different types of connections, whether the poems have similar topics, rely on similar allusions, represent different perspectives on the same subject, or even express similar emotions through different styles. These pairs help students go beyond surface similarities in order to understand both poems in greater depth. Designed specifically to broaden student understanding of complex, classic works of literature, the text and context sections ask students to apply high-level thinking skills to a collection of fiction, poetry, nonfiction, and visual texts, which provide new insights into the chapter's classic text. Exploring connections between, among, and beyond the text and context encourages students to consider the classic text in a new light. This guides them into deeper, more nuanced interpretations to its meaning that take into account a variety of literary, artistic, cultural, political, and historical issues. Through a series of questions and writing prompts, students are invited to enter the literary conversation and express their viewpoints on the big ideas reflected in these readings. The close reading section at the end of each thematic chapter breaks down the close reading process to explore how writers use elements of style to create meaning. Focusing on particular aspects of writing, connotation, figurative language, irony, tone, syntax, and imagery, this section offers students explanations of these elements by using examples taken from the readings featured in the chapter. For instance, by scrutinizing how Mary Shelley, Gerard Manley Hopkins, and William Shakespeare employ syntax to convey meaning, students deepen their understanding of how literary texts work. Exercises follow, providing first-hand experience with concepts and practice in analyzing works. Before we move on to the teacher resources, let's discuss technology. BFW provides two different ebook types dependent on your needs. Adaptext, powered by Copia Class, is your BYOD solution. It works through an app on multiple tablets or can be accessed through a PC or Mac on an internet browser. You can download the ebook through your app on your tablet or phone, so students can have online or offline access to their ebook. Launchpad is an interactive ebook that is only available through your web browser with an internet connection. It has built-in adaptive quizzes called Learning Curve, an easy-to-use gradebook, pre-built units, and access to teacher resources and test banks. Written by teachers for teachers, the Teacher Edition offers essential tools and tips from master teachers, including suggestions for building context, approaches for close reading, places to check for understanding, and teaching ideas designed to engage students and differentiate instruction. All of this support is placed in the margins of the book, so you always have it right where you need it. This handy flash drive contains additional teacher and student resources for Literature and Composition 2nd Edition, including suggested responses to questions, classroom strategies and how-tos, vocabulary support, key passages for annotation, audio and video clips, and documents. With more than 1,200 simulated AP-style multiple-choice questions, this test bank is the first and largest available for AP literature. The Exam View Test Generator lets you quickly create paper, internet-based, and land-based tests. 
You can create and format a test in minutes through a fully customizable platform that allows you to enter your own questions, edit existing questions, set time limits, incorporate multimedia, and scramble answers and question order to prevent plagiarism. Detailed results report feed into a gradebook. Our professional development learning community, the BFW Classroom Compass, is a free place to work with other teachers. Visit today. If you have any questions, please reach out to your sales rep. Thank you for watching.